Hi, this is Amy. Um, I'm going to replace this light fixture in my porch. Um, as you can see, it's just a basic fixture. And uh, Okay, let's go. Alright, I'm just out here in the garage. And here is the light fixture that I purchased. And I got it for $10. But I don't like the shiny brass, so I had uh, added, um, replaced some fixtures in my bathroom, and I spray painted them a different color. So I'm going to do that um, with this. So here's the brassy part, and then just the knob that goes on the bottom and screws it all together. So I'm going to spray that inside this box. And then to spray this other piece, I'm just going to break down. Oops, I'm just going to break down um, this box and open that up and just lay it on there and spray paint it. Okay, let's do it. First, I'm going to need to sand this a little bit just to make the paint a little better. So we'll go ahead and do that and get it spray painted and uh, see how we go. Okay, um, this is the spray paint that I am using. Um, this is, like I said, in the bathroom. I bought a fixture, the same thing. Um, it was all brass, shiny brass, and um, I didn't like that. And I didn't like the price of, I think, you know, it was like a couple hundred dollars difference to get the same fixture in this type of a finish. So I just took it all apart and sprayed all the brass pieces. So that's what I'm going to do here. And I have a piece of, just a piece of sandpaper. That I, oops, sorry, that I'm going to just rough up. I did tape this bubble um, plastic here, just kind of around the edge. The glass, the glass sits here, so um, don't need to get it perfectly in there. So I'm going to sand this down. I'm also going to sand the um, the little pieces in here, just to get a little bit better paint finish. So I'll do that, and uh, then we'll go to the next step. Okay, I got it all sanded, and um, I need to, I'm just going to take a cloth and wipe the rest of the dust off. I, you know, I don't know if you can see, I just scratched it up and took that shiny finish off as much as I could, just to give the paint something to um, adhere to. I did abandon the little box. Once I broke this box open, I have plenty of room. Um, did want to mention, too, the reason I have this Rust-Oleum paint rather than just a regular paint um, it was the only paint I could find that was in the color I wanted. Uh, so that's why I'm using it. And then another tip, when I did do the light fixture in the bathroom, it had all kinds of little screws on it. And what I did was I, I poked the screws right into the cardboard. And um, then just spray painted them, let them dry, and the, the little screws were painted as well. Okay, I'm going to spray paint this. Um, multiple light coats is always better when spray painting than trying to cover all at once. So um, it may I'm assuming at least two coats. And then we'll uh, get it put up. Okay, I'm shaking the paint up. And uh, it's a nice temperature out here, as well as it's not very breezy or windy. So. Um, Otherwise, I would go into an area that was a little blocked from the wind, but it, it's um, actually beautiful out here. So, okay, let's go with the first coat. Okay, I've got the first coat on. And uh, one thing I did want to show you, too, is when you are done spray painting and it isn't empty, uh, if you flip the can over and spray it until, see, nothing's coming out, um, it clears it clears that piece of paint and it doesn't dry. I mean, I used this, well, it was earlier this year, but it's been several months and I had absolutely no trouble getting that paint to come out of there again, so um, I recommend doing that. It's like cleaning out your brushes, I guess. Okay, I'll let that dry and do a second coat. Okay, it's actually been a couple of months and I was going through videos and I found that I never completed um, this I was going to show how I <clears throat> actually wired it and stuff, but 
Um, I ran into some issues with that, but anyway, here is the finished lamp and our light. And so there you go. Looks way better than that other like old bedroom lamp or light fixture. So if you have any questions, let me know or comments. Put them down below. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.